everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today we're gonna do a very simple makeup tutorial but first i'm gonna use my wipes and clean my paint because i feel really sweaty and this weather is pretty hot oh it's not been long i showered and i can see that the wipes looks a bit dirty as you can see my twists are still looking really really good like still very much fluffy so this is my makeup bag I got this recently because the last one I had was torn under and my makeup just kept falling out so I got a new one. I'm going to be showing you guys all the products that I'm going to be using. Oh my god, I think I just have to empty the whole thing on my bed. The fact that I keep staining my makeup products is just very funny to me but yeah, this is my primer. I'm almost out so I know I'm going to be getting a new one very soon. So you know, just put that on your face and let it dry. I have this mirror and it just keeps falling apart so I'm just going to use this upper part and fan my face so it dries faster so for some reason I like to do my base makeup first like put on my foundation and you know do all the concealer and other stuff before I go ahead and do my brows so first we're gonna be going in with the Zikal foundation in shade what? 020 shade 20 but you can see that right i like to put my foundation on the face using a brush and i don't like to put so much foundation so i'm just going to put this over here my beauty blender is a little bit messy i washed it recently and i think i used it for makeup on sunday and it looks this way so you guys don't come for me just dab it into your skin. Please do not blend this way. Do not be blending like this. Like just dab. Dab the product into your skin so it absorbs into your skin. For some reason, I always feel like this shade is a little bit yellow for me. Someone on TikTok advised me to get a blue pigment and mix in a foundation so I can get my exact shade. But I haven't done that. But I promise I'm going to look into it. Next, I'm going to go in with my blush. But this blush is very pigmented. So I like to like put it on first before I can go ahead and put on my concealer. So I'm going to first go in with the blush. I don't know. I, I just got this from an online vendor. I just like to use my finger and place it all the way going up my cheekbone just like that i'm a beauty blender girl so i just like to use the beauty blender to blend my product out instead of brushes but i also do use brushes i just prefer to use the beauty blender i feel like it gives me a perfect finish compared to brushes or maybe i just haven't mastered how to use brushes properly but for now i'm just gonna stick to what i know how to use best so you can see now that is what it looks like blended next we are going to go in with my concealer i like to join the blend pro concealer and also the zika concealer this one feels a little bit more dry and this one is more fluidy should i put it like that but you get what i mean yeah so i just prefer to combine the two so that you know it gives me a better finish compared to when i use just this so first i go in with the blend pro it's almost finished inside okay, i'm just gonna use it this way since it's almost finished inside just like that yeah i like to go in with my zikel that's what it looks like see and then just add a little bit add a little bit a little here and just a little down here and that will do just going to wait for it to dry a little bit and then we're going to go ahead and blend i'm going to go in with the beauty blender So next we're going to go in with the blend pro this one is going to be used for contouring first i'm going to place it around my forehead just like this like this and then my jawline and then the side of my nose just like that yeah i feel like i put so much actually i don't really like to contour my cheek i just like to do it this way and it's okay for me for blending the contour i like to use my brush and blend everything out i think i'm going to start from my forehead so when you're blending you just blend it towards your hairline don't blend it forward, just blend it towards your hairline. Yeah, like that. 
blend it backwards. Then I'm going to go ahead and blend my jawline. Blend, 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 blend. For my nose, I'm going to use a separate brush. I'm going to be using this brush. It comes both ways. I like to use this part for the eyeshadow and this part to contour my nose. So I'm just going to go in. And just like this. It's really hot. I just hope this makeup turns out the way I imagine it because this heat is on another level. Of course, it's light. I'm sitting in front of the window, but it's still blazing hot. So next, I'm going to do my brows. Before I draw my brows, I like to use my edge control to lay them. So first, I'm... Oh my god, the amount of my brush just fell off. I have this brush in another size, but for some reason, I just prefer to use this one. I've had this since day one, so I don't know. That relationship is just there. So I'm just going to lay my brows down properly. I really have scanty brows, so most times I don't like to take out too much hair. I'm going to use my pressed powder to remove the excess edge control. So I'll just press it down just like that. Others usually use um, setting powder, but I just prefer to use this. So just press it down. Oh, I like to use the Davis eye pencil. See how sharp it is? That's how sharp your pencil should be. I like to use Davis. One, the quality is better than all these other eye pencils. So I don't really like to talk when I'm trying to draw my eyebrows because it's kind of a distraction. So bear with me. My brows look a little bit funny now, but I believe when I conceal them, it will come out better. So first, I like to use the Blend Pro at the bottom of my brows, and then I use my foundation at the front. I'm going to be making use of this brush, so I'm just going to take it a little from it. This, this, this is finished inside, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the Zikel instead, because the Blend Pro is dry. I can barely get anything. I don't like big brows, so I think I prefer it this way. I go ahead with my foundation, conceal the front. I'm going to use this fluffy eyeshadow brush to just blend this out. All done with my brows and this is what it looks like so next i'm going to go in with eyeshadow i have two eyeshadow palettes this is the first and this is the second this one has more colors to do and this has a few i'm a big fan of neutral colors so i guess i'll just come up with something but i'll first go with brown that one here this one right here and then go over here. Almost looks like the same colors, but it's not bad. I'm going to use this glitter eyeshadow right here to just go over everything. I usually like to use my finger and then I place it over just like this. Next, I'm going to go in with my mascara. I'm not going to be putting mascara on my lower lashes because I don't want to ruin anything. So for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to skip that. I think a lot of black women are obsessed with brown lip liner. This is the MAC brown lip liner. I got this like ages ago. I almost forgot to set my face. This is called the setting powder. I almost forgot that and it's really, really important. So I'm just going to use this just the excess of. I like to do a little bit too on my cheek. Nothing too much, just a little bit. Does it make any difference? I don't know. But yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish my lips and then I can dust all that off. I'm just going to be going over with the lipstick. This is the color. This is what it looks like. I 
I really need new set of brushes because this whole thing is falling apart. It's particularly on and amazing. So I'm just gonna go in with this shiny plus. Smells amazing. I don't want to use um, the pressed powder, which is this. I think this is okay for me. So I'm not going to go in with the pressed powder. If you want, you can go in and finish up with the pressed powder. Or I guess I'm just going to do that for the sake of this video. So I'm using this brush. That's what it looks like. Um, let's dab over your face. Your forehead. Yeah, and I think that is it. I have to go in and blend my eyeshadow a little bit more so that it blends around this area a bit more. And yeah, this is the final look. how to do a cut crease because i'm just tired of doing this basic eyeshadow look so i'm going to work more on you know doing my cut crease and you know trying out more sophisticated makeup i can also see that my eyebrows look a little bit uneven but yeah eyebrows are sisters not twins and some days i do my brows better and some other days is just like that so i guess today is one of those days so do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye